Hi, this is KM. Here is the second video on metal intoxication in the biochemistry and public health series. We are here to discuss the toxic effects of some metal ions. This video will explore arsenic and cadmium. Arsenic could be found in natural groundwater in some areas, anthropogenic sources of um, insecticides, fungicides, and rodenticides, known as arsenic trioxide. A white powder similar to salt, but deadly to human too. It is ubiquitous in microbes and mortars, leading to chronic toxic effects in Nevada, Bangladesh, and Taiwan. It causes black foot disease, which is a unique peripheral vascular disease well known in Taiwan. There are multiple forms of arsenicals binding to hydrogen or oxygen, arsenate or arsenate, and methyl arsen formed in microorganisms. This organic form is, however, less toxic than the inorganic form. Arsenic binds with many different organic substances, arsenal sugar, arsenal butane, etc. ASO4 as inorganic form is toxic as it mimics phosphate, forming arsenophosphate glycerate. In glycolysis, but no ATP is formed in this uncoupling effect of ASO4. This diagram shows the various form of arsenicals with the inorganic form arsenate and arsenate. They are confirmed carcinogens. There are also multiple organic forms found in our body. For glycolysis, the compound 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, when attached with arsenate instead of phosphate, low ATP is formed. Arsenic intoxication is common with arsenic trioxide for its acute poisoning effects. Only 0.2 gram of arsenic trioxide could kill. Drinking water level is 10 ppb to avoid any chronic arsenicosis. As this goes else everywhere with different chemicals in our body, it can form adducts with thiols and many other compounds. Arsenate reductase can convert arsenite to arsenate, going into glycolysis but no ATP formed, causing liver damages with hepatomechanase and cirrhosis, anemia, or anorexia could be resulted. Hyperkeratosis in hands or feet in victims touching arsenic contaminated soil are also very common. Arsenate is a long class A carcinogen with arsenical pesticides causing lung or skin cancer recorded. A zinc gas poisoning is also not uncommon in industrial exposure, causing hemolysis, nausea, abdominal pain, and hemoglobinuria with red violet color in urine due to the blockage of renal tubules by damaged hemoglobin. Chelation therapy traditionally involved with DMSA dimercaptosacinic acid or British anti lewisid which is dimercaptopropanol. Before we move on to discuss the toxic effects of cadmium, here we have two MC questions for you. First, which one of the following metals can inhibit ATP production directly? Second, which one of the following metal is known as essential element? Do you know the answers? The second half of this video with a few slides of cadmium intoxication aimed at elaborating the potential risk of cadmium. Cadmium is well known of its related diseases, 
called Italia Italia or Oki Oki disease. It is also known as cadmium rice disease. Cadmium could enter our body from different foods as it contaminates all biota from sludge, industrial processes, burning processes, etc. We can accumulate them in our body, usually got trapped in a kidney, with a very long half-life of 30 years. Because it accumulates in our kidney, causing tubular dysfunction. First found in horse kidney, cadmium is associated with a protein called metrothionine MT, which is a biological collector of cadmium. Cadmium causes itai, itai disease or oki oki disease in Japan. This disease is also known as cadmium rice disease. In this disease, low dietary calcium and cadmium induced calciurea or calcium in urine and also bone deformation. A clinical problem of osteomalacia is well documented. We could use EDTA or Sassima for chelation therapy, but the nephrotoxicity could not be recovered. Recently, Green Groves and WHO raised the concern of rice grown in China on contaminated soil. Australia has the least weekly cadmium intake as calculated. China, Japan, European countries and the US are higher. So cadmium is still available from contaminated soil and get accumulated in rice from the root to the grain with transported proteins as shown in this diagram with rice. Cadmium has a characteristic to stay in our body with a long half-life of three decades, causing renal dysfunction and even reproductive defects. It is also a lung cancer promoter. Cadmium stays in the environment and we can get it easily from various food sources such as oyster mussel and also cigarette smoking. Other than rice, smoking is also a major root of cadmium in our body. Long smokers have less blood cadmium level than smokers with four to five times higher. Bronchitis, edema, emphysema are found in the lungs of those patients who are smokers. Cadmium is also a well-known cancer promoter, inhibiting DNA repair genes, creating reactive oxygen species, leading to different types of lung cancer. Dietary supplement and healthy diets with fruits can help reducing cancer risk from cadmium. Dietary supplements with phytochemicals and essential metals. Healthy diets with fruits and onions, garlic could help. Goodbye now. I stop here and the next video explores the toxic effects of lead and mercury. Thank you.